What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. Today I'm testing the latest WinLater 10.1 on this Exynos Mali GPU device. Well, we all know that this version changed the fate of Mali GPUs with a lot of improvements. There's also a hotfix update that fixes Steam client startup, added direct Adreno tools to the Vortec driver, and a few bugs got fixed. So I have already installed WinLater on this phone. And also, the phone right now I'm using is a Galaxy device powered by Exynos 1380 with a Mali G68 5-core GPU, which is quite similar to Dimensity 7300. It comes with 6 gigs of RAM, which is a bit on the lower side. Anyways, now let's open WinLater. Same as usual, allow permission. Now go to Settings. Set Box 64 version to 0.3.6 and preset to performance or stability. You can even create a custom preset if you want, based on the game. As usual, add a new container and set screen resolution to 600p. Here Vortec driver is set. Go to its configuration. So here you can see, the system driver will be used as the Adreno Tools driver by default. Set max video memory to 2 gigs if you are using 6 gigs RAM. But if you are using 8 gigs RAM or above, set max memory accordingly. As usual, set the DXVK version you prefer based on the titles. Same here, set device memory to 2 gigs. Make a note, this is the hotfix version, which directly works based on the system driver with tweaks. As usual, in advanced, set startup selection to aggressive mode. Select Windows 7 or above, and in Affinity, enable all CPU cores. That's it. Alright, so before we start, make sure to check out Direct3D test. Is it working or not? And it's working fine. Let's check out the GPU info. And as you can see, this phone's Mali GPU is configured well with both Vulkan with device extensions and our assigned device memory and OpenGL as well. You can also view the compatibility profile of the Mesa driver. So anyways, it's time for the test. As usual, I have already copied some games from PC to this phone storage. So simply, I'll add these shortcuts to the container. Now let's get back Go to Shortcuts. And yes, as mentioned, now Mali GPUs even work well with DirectX 10 and 11 versions. But currently still, it's in the early stage, like it's utilizing more RAM usage, like I showed in my recent Mali GPU test. Even that phone has 8 gigs of RAM. Let's see if it holds up or not on this 6 gig device. It still needs proper optimization. Well, of course, on Snapdragon, it's no longer an issue even if you have 6 gigs of RAM. So here, everything is set to low settings. As you can see, here on the top, it's almost using max GPU. So that's all for today's video, guys. I'll soon be testing this on a flagship Mali GPU device as well. If you found this helpful, do let me know in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.